wanted to make a video on the new Honda mower engines as opposed to the older engines on the HRX 217. These newer engines are on the new generation of Honda mowers. At first I was a little bit concerned that I didn't have the manual yet and I'm um, doing a tear down to replace the crank which um, was bent by the previous owner. Um, they only used it once or twice. Pretty much basically the same as the HRX breaking it down. First you get your flywheel off. Uh, you're going to have to use a heat and preferably a puller uh, to get the flywheel off. Comes off pretty easy. This is a clutch model, BBC model, so you're removing all of your clutch components underneath. What I do like about this engine is um, the simplicity and the organization of how it is put together. As you can see here, the, uh, the top lifts off. All of these bolts are put on 20 foot-pounds and then the entire engine assembly is in this drum, sealed drum. It operates uh, all within this. There's no two pieces like the clamshell design of the old HRXs. Uh, the crank is bent, so that will be replaced. You see the rod bolts on the end here. The cool thing is, and hopefully the camera will pick this up, the timing notches on the gears for the timing and everything are down below. As the engine set at top dead center, everything lines up. So this looks like it's significantly easier to replace components. There's four or five bolts removing the top and the shroud with the pull starter assembly on there. Everything else comes off pretty easy. It's just a couple of bolts and everything comes apart. This is the underside of the top lid or the crankcase cover. Fairly simple. So in regards to comparing this to the old HRX motors, you had the timing belt moving through the crank and onto the timing gear, whereas this has the timing gears down there and not using a belt. So it's gonna be easier to replace this crank. A uh, certain number of bolts, you're into the actual crankcase. A couple of bolts later, the end of the rod, you're replacing the crank much, much quicker, much, much easier. I can see how Honda used this to uh, increase the speed of service times. Put Once you put it into service position, removing the parts that you need to remove and then moving on um, once you have the top of the lid off. So I'm gonna be back once I get the crank loose and ready to come out and show you additional features.